Welcome to Yoga Mints Food and Flow. I'm Melissa, your healthy food chef. I'm Camilla, your yoga instructor. Today's focus is radiance. And what better food to eat for radiance than kale? Today I'm going to make a simple and delicious tahini kale dish. And I'm going to teach you a breath exercise to get toxins and stress out of your body. Let's get started. Hi there, today I'm going to make a simple and delicious kale dish. Kale is America's superfood. It's loaded with calcium, it's got B vitamins, it rebuilds DNA cells, and it helps repair cancer cells. Kale comes on a stalk that can sometimes be a little bit bitter, so for this recipe we're going to remove the stalk and it's really easy. You just grab the end and pull, and the kale comes off. How simple is that? Next I'm going to go through the ingredients for the sauce. We have two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce, and then we have about a quarter cup of tahini, which is just ground up sesame seeds. That's for the sauce and some filtered water. So we're just gonna put that together right in my trusty little magic blender, pouring them in, half a cup of water, and our tahini. This sauce thickens up when it cooks. It gets really delicious and it infuses the curly leaves of the kale with flavor. I'm just gonna put the lid on here and we're gonna blend it up just for a second. Super simple. So now I'm going to show you how to saute the shallots. Shallots taste like a combination of garlic and onion. And today I'm gonna to saute them in coconut oil, which is gonna bring out their sweetness. So let's go over to the stove and I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna turn our heat onto medium. Just need a skillet for this dish. And I'm gonna put about a little less than a tablespoon of coconut oil. Just let that melt down. Okay, our coconut oil has melted down. So we're gonna add our shallots right to the pan. We're gonna saute those up. Just let your shallots saute until they get soft and almost transparent. And that's when the flavor really starts to come out and they get very sweet. You can already hear them sizzling. And they're almost transparent. So we're gonna add our kale to this next. Just go over here, grab our kale. All destemmed and cleaned. We'll just put it right here in the pan. You're welcome to break this up into little tiny pieces if you like it that way, or you can leave it in large pieces, whatever you prefer. This is gonna cook down really small. It's kind of like when you cook spinach. Spinach always kind of reduces in size, so this will cook down really small. We're just gonna put our lid on and let it steam a little bit. So our kale's starting to steam down. It would be great if you could just have a pair of tongs and toss it around a little bit. Mmm, smells delicious. Kale is also really good for cleaning out our digestive system as well. All the little curls in the leaves kind of clean the whole digestive system. So we're going to add our sauce. Mmm, we're going to put the lid back on just for another minute. The kale's cooking in the sauce. This sauce is so delicious because it's very savory. And it just mellows the kale out. Sometimes the kale by itself can be a little bit bitter, so this sauce actually helps mellow it out. Look at this, it's beautiful. It's bubbling and getting thick. And you can see how the kale has cooked down quite a bit. So you just want to cover all the leaves, coat them up really nice. And this is so delicious, served on top of a bed of rice or a bed of quinoa. And we are done. We're gonna do a breath that will help to increase our life force and radiance and push disease and stress out of our bodies. Pranayams are amazing because they teach us to control our breath so that we can increase the amount of energy that we have in our bodies and it can slow down the breath so that it will calm our minds. If we have very shallow breathing, it makes our bodies more anxious. So controlling your breath with pranayams is fantastic. For this particular one, we're going to be sitting down cross-legged and if that's difficult for you, you can sit on a chair, but you just want to make sure that the spine is absolutely straight 
And imagine that you have a grapefruit tucked underneath your chin and that's going to help your spine to get even straighter. And the arms are going to be positioned like this. The right arm is making a pledge and the left arm is in front of your heart like this. And the fingers are straight and stiff and together. And the breath is four counts in and one count out through a rounded mouth. So it goes I'm going to do this for five rounds and we're going to close our eyes just to get an opportunity to check in more with ourselves, to go internally. So you want to close your eyes and focus on the third eye point, the point between your eyebrows. And here we go. You want to inhale deeply through a rounded mouth. Bring both arms up, spread your fingers wide. Exhale through a rounded mouth, cannon breath. We're going to do this two more times. down, let the hands relax on your knees, palms facing up. Take a couple of breaths. Just feel the shift of energy in your body. This is an excellent meditation to do 3 to 11 minutes a day. I love it if I have something very important where I need to feel more radiant and a little bit extra energized and more present than I do this meditation. May your life always be in flow. Thank you for joining us for Yoga Mint's Food and Flow. Today's focus was radiant, so remember, eat fresh, breathe deeply, and, and be in the, the flow. flow. <laughs> Should we try some?